After all their attempts to seduce him failed, Quraysh offered Muhammad a new offer so that he might abandon his call. We offered Muhammad that we will worship his God for a year and in exchange he will worship our God for a year. But he refused. And we offered to him that we worship what he worships and that he worships what we worship. But he refused. Then Surah Al-Kafirun was revealed in response to their demands. قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدَ وَلَا أَنَا عَابِدٌ مَا عَبَدْتُمْ وَلَا أَنْتُمْ عَابِدُونَ مَا أَعْبُدَ لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَ دِينٌ While the Prophet may God's prayers and peace be upon him was praying between the Yemeni and black corners, Abu Jahl came to him carrying a large stone. I will kill Muhammad while he is prostrating in his prayer. What is wrong with you, Abu al-Hakam? I went to kill him. And what happened? And when I approached Muhammad, I, I saw a stallion of camels, which I never have seen before. They, they attacked me, and they almost ate me. Inna Allah yudafi'u ani al-lazina amanu the people of Mecca continued to convert to Islam. The Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, was teaching his companions about their religion and urged them to be patient. The Quran continued to be revealed successively, and the invitation began to spread until it entered the house of Abu Talib and his wife, Fatima, converted to Islam. Glory be to Allah, and all praise is due to him. Glory be to Allah, the Great. Fatima. My dear husband, I see you saying what my nephew's companions say. I embraced Islam as my son Ali embraced it, Abu Talib. You are not the only one who embraced Islam. My brother Hamza has embraced Islam as well. Hamza's conversation to Islam had a strange story. The messenger, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, was at Al-Safa. So Abu Jahl passed by and attacked the Prophet, insulted him, insulted his religion and confronted him, saying, What are you doing? Oh, who lie to your people? Oh, who is looking for fame? Hamza was returning from hunting, holding his bow. So a woman who had seen the situation met him and called Master Hamza. And Hamza said to her, what is wrong? So the woman told him what happened from Abu Jahl towards the messenger of God. May God bless him and grant him peace. Abu Jahl was still mocking the messenger, may God bless him and grant him peace, and insulting him in front of people. <laughs> did you see what I did to Muhammad? Yes, you insulted him, Abu al-Hakam. Leave Hamza, for I have cursed his nephew the worst curse. Hamza replied to him, Do you curse Muhammad while I am on his religion? I bear witness that there is no God but God, alone, who has no partner, and I bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger. So the Quraysh knew that the Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, had become stronger. وَإِذَا رَأَوْكَ إِنْ يَتَّخِذُونَكَ إِلَّا هُزُوًا أَهَذَا الَّذِي بَعَثَ اللَّهُ رَسُولًا إِنْ كَادَ لَيُضِلُّنَا عَنْ آلِهَتِنَا لَوْلَا أَنْ صَبَرْنَا عَلَيْهَا وَسَوْفَ يَعْلَمُونَ حِينَ يَرَوْنَ الْعَذَابَ مَنْ أَضَلُّ سَبِيلًا 
Thus Islam began with strength and spread. But the Quraysh did not stop harming Muslims, and the revelation of the beloved Muhammad, may God bless him and grant him peace, stopped for a period of time in which the Prophet became sad. And the revelations had stopped. To remove what the Prophet, peace be upon him, found of fear and terror, when the Prophet knew that he had become a Prophet with certainty, he climbed the tops of the mountains in sadness, and Gabriel would appear to him and say, O oh Muhammad, you are the true messenger of Allah. So he became reassured with it, and his heart starts to calm down. Then he returns, and he kept doing it a lot until the revelation came back. Then Surah Al-Duha was revealed, which responded to the disbelievers who said that the Lord of Muhammad had left him. <laughs> وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ فَتَرْضَى أَلَمْ يَجِدَكَ يَتِيمًا فَآوَى وَوَجَدَكَ ضَالًّا فَهَذَا وَوَجَدَكَ عَائِلًا فَأَغْنَى فَأَمَّا الْيَتِيمَ فَلَا تَقْهَرْ وَأَمَّا السَّائِلَ فَلَا تَنْهَرْ وَأَمَّا بِنِعْمَةِ رَبِّكَ فَحَدِّثْ O oh, Utbah Compliance and obedience for my father O oh, Utaybah Your order, my father My head and yours are forbidden if you do not divorce Muhammad's daughters I am going to divorce Ruqayya now. She will not be my wife. As long as their father insults our gods, Umm Kulthum is divorced so that Muhammad knows what he is doing to us. The abuse was not limited to Abu Lahab and his two sons, but also to his wife. Here are the dirt and thorns that I put in the path of Muhammad. It will hit him and harm him or it may be the cause of his death, so that we can wrest from him and what he claims. Ha! Where are you, Muhammad? Where are you? The Prophet, peace be upon him, passes by and does not speak or comment. He is interested in calling people to Islam, not in its enemies. He is determined to achieve his goal of conveying the truth to all people. And Surat Al-Masad revealed about Abu Lahab and his wife. تبت يدا أبي لهب وتب ما أغنى عنه ماله وما كسب سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامرأته حمالة الحطب في جيدها حبل من مسد and when Umm Jami, the wife Abu Lahab, heard what was said about her in Surat Al-Masad, she took a stone and went looking for the Messenger of God, Muhammad. And she kept searching until she found him in the mosque. Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr, where is your friend? It was reported to me that he was insulting me. So report to him that we are announcing our disobedience and we are disobeying his order and his command is over. The Prophet made God's prayers and peace be upon him was reciting the Quran. So Abu Bakr said, O Messenger of God, do you not see her as she is seeing you? The Messenger of God made God's prayers and peace be upon him said, She didn't see me. God took her sight from me and in her was revealed the Almighty saying, So when you recite the Quran, we put between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter a hidden veil. وإذا قرأت القرآن جعلنا بينك وبين الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة حجابا مستورا وجعلنا على قلوبهم أكنة أن يفقهوه وفي آذانهم وقرا وإذا ذكرت ربك في القرآن وحده ولوا على أدبارهم نفورا 
and the Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, still teaches and educates his companions and teaches them the book and wisdom. And the signs began in the middle and late fourth year of the prophethood, then intensified in the fifth year. And Surat al-Zumar was revealed in which there is a reference to immigration. So when the Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered Muslims to emigrate to Abyssinia, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, told them if you went out to the land of Abyssinia, for there is a king in whom no one is wronged, and it is a land of sincerity until God grants you relief from what you are in. So the Muslims came out at that time for the fear of strife and fear for their 